Cycling for me definitely started off as a necessity. When my dad became sick, he had um, a series of heart problems and he was in and out of hospital several times. The bike became a way of actually going to see him after work every day. I used my bike to get to and from the train station. His condition got to a point where it wasn't going to get better and um, he passed away in 2011. And after that, there was a gap in my life that needed to be filled. Cycling was a way for me to fill that time. I think London is a, a big place and I think the bike is a really valuable tool um, because it actually makes it a lot smaller. It has become this universal tool of self-expression. To some people it is this object of prestige and to other people it's this very functional thing. And probably 15, 20 years ago, that might have been the car. I started to kind of do more, sometimes 15 hours a week, if not more. I was doing two, 300 kilometers a week. I started to do road races, time trials, big sportifs, 160 mile events, 180 mile events, bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and I guess it came to a climax. I was on the side of the mountain and I experienced this sort of physical block. I broke down. And, um, and it was at that point that I sort of properly grieved and dealt with my father passing away. And so I got back on the bike after sitting out for about five, 10 minutes. I did the ascent. And as soon as I got back to where I was staying, I just looked at my bike and just realized, I don't need to do this again. You know, I'm not running away from anything anymore. I've faced what I needed to face. And that was in 2015, and it, it really changed my relationship with cycling. The bike is now more of a companion for me, and we kind of explore London together. and. Cycling, especially post-COVID-19, has become increasingly popular. I think more people are cycling now because they don't want to get on public transport. And I think if I was able to go on this massive journey and it all just started off with commuting to work, I'm sure there's going to be many more people who are doing the same thing. And those thoughts are going to take them in all kinds of places. And I think that's pretty cool.